Eric Tov, covering my name, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Russia is involved in some very large-scale drills in Crimea, a sudden drill, uh, something that, as far as I'm aware of, was not even announced as it began to involve 2,500 paratroopers and some 600 pieces of military equipment, according to TASS, Russian news agency. And uh, this is something that caught our attention, but what caught our attention even more so is a couple of other, other articles that have appeared in Russian news. One of those Russian articles there happened to appear on ruspravda.info, and that article there was Dirty Bomb, Turkinov, uh, was not a bluff. Now, we took some great links to really dive deeper into this article here. Of course, my wife speaking fluent Russian, as well as another uh, colleague of ours, a former Russian professor both took the time to really break this article down because this was in response, this article was in response to a, a meeting that Turkinov had recently had over whether or not Ukraine is considering putting together a dirty bomb, a dirty bomb being a nuclear device that could be detonated against uh, eastern Ukraine, Donbass region that is, is what we're talking about. Now just to give you a little bit of background of who Turkinov is, we uh, see here, this is his picture here, he is uh, the former uh, president of Ukraine, not as, as far as acting president, one of the ones that was placed in there before Petro Poroshenko was. He is also now the current Secretary of National Security of Ukraine. But he's been making some very big public words there, and those words included the possibility that Ukraine is trying to put together some type of nuclear device to use against Donbass. And this has not gone unnoticed by Russia, but what really has caused Russia to wake up and to say, wait a minute, this is more serious than what we realized is an article that has appeared right here on Sputnik News on their Russian language website. And not always the Russian language is picked up on other uh, Sputnik News outlets, such as the English site. But this one here, the GIC Belarus radiation background cargo in the plane uh, of Armenia has been exceeded. There was a plane they flew from Armenia, landed in Belarus on its way to Bulgaria that had 250 times the normal radioactive limit of what it's supposed to have. Now, that could have something to do with there has been radioactive leaks uh, picked up even here inside of the Czech Republic that no one seems to know where it's coming from, but there's a major concern where Russia is concerned about such a huge amount of radiation coming off of this plane that landed inside of Belarus on over towards Bulgaria. And it was after this happened that Russia began to move these uh, exercises, snap drill check you might call it there, getting ready for something that might be going down in the very near future there inside of Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine specifically, against their neighbors the Donbass natures, the, uh, the self-proclaimed republics of Luhansk and that of Donetsk. Um, but as we have begun to look at this and dig deeper to find out, is there actually a threat of a dirty bomb, a nuclear device? Well, again, another uh, KP.ru, KP another Russian news source here, says political analysts, Ukraine is planning to drop a nuclear bomb on the Crimea and Rostov. Imagine that. Sergei Markov said, uh, Kipe, that is, this could happen with the uh, acquiescence of the West. In other words, the United States possibly helping uh, to further this along. Now, before I go into this article here, let me share with you that uh, one of our own sources, who again is a uh, Russian professor, has stated to us that the United States would love to have the strategic control of Ukraine. One reason why they're so close working with Ukraine right now in trying to defeat uh, the eastern part of those in East Ukraine, the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republic there. The reason the U.S. wants this place is the strategic ability to use nuclear weapons against Russia. As he pointed out to me earlier today, that firing off a nuclear bomb from the United States gives 30 minutes for Russia to try to knock it out of the air before it comes into land. But in Ukraine, he said there will be no time whatsoever for, the United, for, the, for Russia to stop a nuclear device that would be sent in from Ukraine. So it's more than just about the fact that Ukraine may be putting together a dirty bomb to use on Donetsk region, but it may have a lot to do with that uh, 
The United States would like to get a hold of Ukraine for the purpose of being right there on Russian doorsteps there. Now, also, as we begin to look at this, and as I'm going to share with you here what is being said in this article here, this is Russia is building up a case to be able to justify a preemptive strike on Ukraine. Because if indeed the Ukrainian government is putting together some type of dirty bomb, just as the United States is worried about what's going on in North Korea, uh, with the nuclear devices that are over there and uh, Kim Jong-un using those against the United States or their allies in the region there, Russia also is beginning to justify their own preemptive strike on Ukraine. Notice what the article says. Ukrainian nuclear scientists are working to create a dirty nuclear bomb on the orders of Kiev authorities. Such a policy, weapon from square, are planning to use in disputes with Russia. Under the blow, could fall, uh, Crimea could fall. Rostov and other major cities on this Komoskia uh, Pravda uh, said political uh, analyst Sergei Markov. The Ukraine authorities broke agreement on the development in Russia of spent nuclear fuel, says Markov. Repeatedly, different representatives of Kiev said that it would, was a big mistake to abandon nuclear weapons. More than once, they assumed that if Ukraine had nuclear weapons, it would be different talk to Russia. It is a dangerous after all, and they are confident that they are in the state of war with Moscow. Experts talk about the various leaks of information. There is evidence that all is now a nuclear scientist in Ukraine uh, have a job, all actively involved in a new project. For all these reasons, many of our colleagues conclude that Ukraine has begun to develop nuclear weapons and other embodiments. This is evidence, evidence by the National Security and Defense Council Sec uh, Secretary uh, Alexander Turkinov. He was the author of many horrific acts of violence. He said that if Ukraine will not be able to make a full-fledged nuclear weapon, their scientists necessarily developed a uh, well, or, their scientists necessarily will need to develop a dirty bomb. How does it work? This is when the very radioactive elements explode, so that that does not form a strong flash of the fire and the shock wave, but there is a radioactive contamination. All right. So the very man. Turk, uh, uh, Turkinov, sorry, pronouncing his name a little bit difficult there. Uh, this is why they were asking him again about his very statement that is being mentioned here in the, uh, the website right here, kp.ru. So there is a very serious, when you've got the very man that is put there in Ukraine as the National uh, Defense Secretary, uh, talking about putting together some type of dirty bomb to use there on the East, we know that we've got a major problem going on, all right? Now, it gets even worse. Again, another article here by RusPravda.info. Dirty bomb, whether to be afraid of its application in, uh, in Donbass. Is it needed? All right, so there, there's so much talk of this going on. And then we have, uh, not that one there. I thought I had it up here. I guess I do not have it up here. Oh, I, know where, I do know where it's at here. I got it right over here. Um, uh, uh, something that we retweeted earlier today that we wanted to share with you as well. This here is uh, uh, the Nazi Ukraine MP Bariza. There is no diplomatic so solution to Donbass and will never be. There is only one solution, and that is a military one. So Ukraine is not giving up the fact of taking back Donbass. And in some places, they've actually said it would better to be a desert than it would be uh, to allow them to succeed from Ukraine. Well, making it a desert, again, implies a nuclear uh, detonation of a bomb there. And on top of that, if it's not only the fact that Russia is preparing, or, or at least justifying, a reason for a preemptive strike on Ukraine with all the threat of a dirty bomb and nuclear device could go off there that would kill just tens of thousands of people. We also have the fact that uh, there is even more buildup, constant, a rapid buildup of forces that are being deployed all across Europe headed to Russia's border. This one here, I believe this one was coming from France, if I'm not mistaken. This train load of uh, military vehicles here uh, en route to uh, Estonia. And there are many of these uh, videos that are popping up here that are coming up as of right now, just, just breaking. This one here, yeah, again, from France, 
uh, headed, headed uh, on its way, uh, going through Poland to Estonia. And again, we can, we can jump over here to uh, uh, Lorenzo's uh, site as well on Artie Happ and on Twitter. He is constantly updating the different movements of, of troops and equipment that is going on uh, in the region there. This one here, Dutch forces have joined NATO's battalion in Lithuania. Uh, the United States also, by the way, sending in 1,100 special op forces uh, into, uh, over there to the Eastern Bloc as well. I think they're going into Poland. Uh, and it, it's just, there's just no end in sight. Um, and U.S. starts to move more military hardware from Poland to Romania. Again, just, it's just constant. So very interesting the way things are being placed out strategically it is almost as if the united states may be getting ready maybe they put ukraine out there as the bait on the hook kind of like israel is pretty much being the bait hung on the hook over there in the middle east they're using israel unfortunately this was sad guys many of the people of israel would never be a, would go along with what is happening there in syria and how israel keeps getting drugged into this conflict uh, it's bad enough that Obama went in there and did what he did and destabilized the entire region. But if you recall this particular Russian article right here that we shared with you here just uh, the other day, uh, this is the Russian article right here that clearly stated that Putin had warned both uh, Israel and Saudi Arabia that if they get involved and they invade Syria, that Russia will actually use tactical nuclear weapons to deter any type of invasion. Uh, so it's obvious that Israel and Ukraine, the peoples that are living there, both are being the bait on the hook to draw Russia into a conflict. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna play there as far as uh, South Korea, uh, as far I mean North Korea as far as the actual country, but the United States being in South Korea. But isn't it interesting that all these different locations are mounting up tensions all at the same time? Israel mounting up tensions with Syria. Uh, the United States putting a lot of troops inside of Syria. We see that the U.S. is inside of South Korea on, it, on Russia's eastern flank there. They've moved in all types of uh, uh, military equipment into Japan. They're using North Korea as a justification. Ukraine is another justification. They're saying that Russia is the aggressor there. And yet Russia is faced with a possible dirty bomb and clearly the very uh, uh, Secretary of Defense, we would call him, uh, you know, the, the Secretary of National Security, uh, Turtikhanov being the head guy for Ukraine's military operations, talking about making a nuclear device to detonate on Donbass. No wonder why. The, the, Russia is literally, they're surrounding Russia, they're getting ready, and I'm afraid that they're going to use Ukraine as a, as a launching pad. It is not good, guys. It's very serious. And, you know, I was sitting here, uh, something else I was going to share with you, uh, we passed it a moment ago here. This picture right here of Vladimir Putin, he's inside uh, a Russian Orthodox church there lighting a candle. Again, this is kind of like what Constantine did as well, uniting church and state. It's a religious war. And if you've ever looked at the pictures of Ukraine as well, and even recently I saw another picture of the United States, uh, they had just built a church for the Catholic Church. The military did, had reconstructed a, a, built, a rebuilt a Catholic church for the, for, for the Catholic church. The United States military did. And then you look in Ukraine, as far as Kiev's side, the western side of Ukraine, they all are getting christened in by the, by the Catholic church. And on the eastern side, all their soldiers are being, being blessed and christened in by the Russian Orthodox church. We are looking at a religious war. It is totally insane. What we're watching here. So again, if you're just now catching this or you dropped in here a little bit further into the video, let me just share with you one more time. Russia clearly is preparing a pre preemptive strike. They are just, they can see a justification for a preemptive strike with the possibility of Ukraine using a nuclear dirty bomb. I'm Stephen Bernoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, definitely don't forget us. We are leaving for Israel here in the next couple of days there. We need your help in making that possible. And also, if you've not checked out my wife's channel, Rise Up Children of God, I'll place uh, the link to her channel inside the description below on here has amazing interviews that are coming out on her channel. It's like a bonus channel of Israeli News Live. Some of the interviews are aired here.
but most of those are there on her channel. You don't want to miss it. She's got some incredible interviews coming up as well. Very well-known people all over the world there. Also, L.A. Marzuli will be coming here on Israeli News Live uh, in the very near future with a host of other uh, interesting people that will be sharing with you with interviews here. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. God bless you. And again, thank you for your support and making everything happen here that we bring to you. IsraeliNewsLive.org or a donation button now is on our YouTube page right above the subscribe button. Shalom.